Hi, welcome to Old Dog New Tricks. I spent some time last night looking around for examples of companies that had really built their business using digital marketing. And I think the interesting thing that came out of that as, as part of the research that I was doing is it was a reminder that really as much as digital marketing can build a business, it can also pretty well destroy a business. Um, one of the things I was looking at was the example of uh, the launch of Obike, a bike sharing platform um, in Australia and Singapore and I think it's in a few other places around the world as well. It was interesting because I spent a lot of time looking at their Facebook and um, the Facebook really was an example, it was a sort of, it was almost like a story of, of, of two companies. It was a company that on the one hand was doing very nice glossy looking marketing with all of the right messages, they were covering off um, safety, they had a great app, it all looked really good, there were lots of posts and stuff like that, but then obviously at some point the wheels started to fall off, literally. Um, you started to see a lot of commentary come up um, to do with um, broken bikes, uh, missing helmets, there was, a, there was a, almost a meme that took place to do with people dumping bikes in rivers and putting them up trees and damaging them and stuff like that. But then also what happened is, as I think that negative publicity started to gain some momentum, there was a lot of comment and reportage right across their different social media platforms that started to talk about um, how chaotic it was, uh, how, how uh, cities didn't want the bikes, how they were a blight on the environment, um, and things like that. And then uh, adding in on top of that, I think as the whole thing started to snowball, um, and I noticed yesterday that Obike, I think has moved out of Melbourne um, and, has, and has closed down its operation in Singapore. Um, they, as that started to snowball, it then even further snowballed into a thing where people um, to sign up to the service had paid, I think a $69 deposit. Um, and, and they had made great pains in their early messaging to say, hey, it's a $69 deposit, but it's really easy to get it back. You can get it back at any time, no problems. Okay. But then obviously as the company started to suffer a bit, it looks like from what you see in the messaging on social media that um, uh, it, it just became a snowballing type of issue. And, and they didn't really handle it particularly well. Um, there were a lot of what I suppose just looked like very standard, off-putting, um, not sort of accepting responsibility for it or just not answering the question. And, and you had a lot of people there talking about how I've been talking to customer service for four months um, and I still don't have a refund. Um, and I think that whole thing just snowballed and, and, and really went out of control. So I, th I think that's a real cautionary tale for someone who is looking to use um, digital marketing to uh, build a business, uh, just to keep in mind that as, as quickly as it can build a business, it can also act as an accelerator for the decline of a business. If you start to falter, um, you start to have problems with creditors, with customers, with consumers and things like that. It can really drive your demise. So you need to be very careful about planning to have a strategy about how you're going to handle it. And I'm assuming from the look of the um, uh, of the o uh, the o bike uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram that they had they would have had a, a proper digital marketing team driving that because it looked very schmick and professional um, and uh, but even that couldn't stop this snowball effect of, 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 of just basically bad commentary driving the whole thing down. So I think that's a really important uh, thing for people to keep in mind as they move forward is to is to really as part of that planning process, um, think about how am I going to handle this if uh, things do sh start to go pear-shaped because unlike in the past I mean I suppose if your business went dodgy and whatever you know yes you had direct customers that you were dealing with and stuff like that and maybe it ended up with a liquidation notice um, in some page of, of, the, of the newspaper but now it's a very public type of thing and it can really uh, have that um, adding fuel to the fire type of uh, impact on your business. So I just think that's an important thing for people to consider as they're developing their digital marketing plan. See you next time.